Hello everyone. So today we are going to implement a selectable interface to be used with both pawns and other non-pawn actors. That means here in the game we might have buildings, we might have trees or other like quarries, anything other than pawns. Uh, but we should be able to select any of them and right now we were using this base pawn class to implement a selection because we have a select function within the base pawn class and we were directly casting into the uh, actor under the cursor uh, into base pawn class and call we used to call the select actor function but today we are going to replace that and we are going to create a selectable interface so uh, so the selection of actors will happen through the selectable interface so no matter what is the class type of the actors as long as they are implemented selectable interface they will be uh, our player controller will be able to select them so that's what we are going to work on today and we are going to do everything within C++. So before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can download anything without any limits. To the date, there are over 2000 videos. For each video, project files are accessible. And here you can watch all the episodes of this series. Uh, we have only four videos out so far, but I am going to continue uh, adding one more, more videos as we implement one more, more features. And here we have another series that is sim similar to a real time strategy game. Here we have worked on these features, but here we have used uh, explicitly blueprints. So if you are interested in that, feel free to check it out as well. Right now, let's get back to today's episode. Okay, so this is what we have right now. We can select and select another. Oh, yeah, basically, that's all we have. So, right now, we, uh, we were using one character type, one actor type for this pawn classes this is called base pawn and we are using directly calling a function a select function within this character type to select the actor in the game but what i want to do now is instead of you directly using the function defined in the in this base pawn class i want to implement a selectable interface the reason is uh soon i will have things like houses here so when i have that i should be able to select houses as well even though they are not derived from this base pawn class right so to do that let's go into our c++ project now here we have clm base pawn and here we have this select actor function and in our player controller we cast whatever the selected actor, whatever the actor under the cursor into this a, a, a clm base form type and then i call select actor function here so what i want to do now is getting rid of this casting so that we can have any different kind of characters or buildings or crop whatever we need in our game we will be able to select if we implement a same selectable interface okay so to do that let's here implement a new class unreal interface i'll select that next Make sure to select out of down utilities uh, module. Let's call this selectable interface. Create. 
Okay. Reload all. Now, this C plus plus file selectable interface dot h. So this is what we need. Now here, on the public section, I'll add a u function. It should be from the type. It should be blueprint callable and also blueprint native events. So blueprint native events can be implemented in C++ and also in blueprints. So category. Let's see. Okay, and the function void select at const all all right now we don't need to implement this in the C file of this selectable interface so we can simply we can simply use this in our base point. So here we need to derive from that to this public I selectable interface. Now here we need to give the header file. I don't think we can use, I'm not sure we can use forward declaration here because we are deriving from the class itself okay now we can override that function the way to override that is we need to have the same thing but we have one more additional thing here we need to append this implementation and of course we need the right keyword okay you might not get in the option to create the definition or maybe this okay Got it. Now here we already have a select function implemented here, yeah, this select actor. So I'll simply call it select actor, the function that we already have here, select actor. Actually we have the same function name, I wonder what that cause any conflicts actually we don't even need this it's just this part so why don't we just get rid of that function oh if we do that we would get an error here so let's get rid of it but first Let's save everything and make sure there are no compile errors. Okay. Is there an error? Yeah. It looks like this is the case. Rename this. Now this is select actor local so this is also renamed all right now let's try again oh good no compile errors but we are still using the local select actor function so now get rid of that 
So to do that, yeah, we already implemented it, everything here. So let's go to our top down player controller. Now let me comment this part. And so if we have a valid selected actor, we need to select it through the interface. The way to do that is first we need to check if the selected actor, uh, the class of the selector act, selected actor implements that interface, the selectable interface, then we can call it. So, so here, selected actor get class implements interface here we need to pass use selectable interface static class so now this is how we check if this actor implements the selectable interface and then if yes i select table interface execute select actor so we need to give the object which is selected actor now this is the object that we execute select actor interface function and then we need to give the parameters in this case we just need a true because we need to select it there go back compile let's see okay selection works and this select is not working because it didn't implement it all right so to implement this selection now instead of this pawn we would need to keep a reference not just within this function in global level uh, we need to keep a reference so that if we have a already selected actor we can deselect it so to do that let me copy this and the u property called selected actor so we wouldn't really need this anymore. So let me get rid of that. And then here, let's use the global one. Like this. Okay. Now, before we come in here, we select previous selected actor. We need to deselect the previously selected actor. And the way to do that is same as here. Oh, before that, we need to make sure that we have a valid selected actor if we do have a selected actor already then we can deselect it and in order to deselect, we need to pass a pause here. Yeah, compile. Maybe I hope to save. Now we can select and previous one is deselected all right so 
cool. So I think we can stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available here for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, see you in another episode. Goodbye.